Hi there, my name is Mia Fleming. We're so glad that you are here with us at the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma to learn more about how we operate and provide access to food for people in the community who need it. The Food Bank was founded in 1981, and over the years we have grown tremendously. We moved into the Donald W. Reynolds Distribution Center behind me here in June of 2006. Here, we take food in through a variety of sources and distribute it through our network partner agencies, as well as through our own community impact programs. My name is Greg Raskin. I'm the Communications Manager for the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma. Right now, we're in the very heart of the food bank. This is our warehouse, and at any given time, it can hold about three million pounds of food. And at the way we're distributing food right now, if we stopped receiving donations today, all this food would be gone in about a month or less. My name is Jeff Fannin, and I'm the uh, RDS driver. That's Rural Delivery Service. The agencies, they call in, place their orders, and we fill them. We distribute the orders to their facilities. And then like uh, the orders that's within 35 miles, they come and pick it up. If it's over 35 miles, we deliver it to them. It's a good program because a lot of people, they, they get food that's usually not able to get it. I'm pretty sure they they, they real grateful for it because when, when they see us in, in the community, they say, hey, Food Bank, you're doing a good job. It really lifts your morale because you know you're able to help somebody. If somebody's looking to donate money to the food bank, which is our most efficient resource to use in order of purchasing food, we can take a $1 donation and buy the equivalent of four meals that we can then distribute. That's an incredible return on investment. That's fantastic that somebody can make those donations and feel really good about it. Children, seniors, and veterans are three of the most vulnerable segments of our population and most susceptible to food insecurity in our community. One in four children in Oklahoma is at risk of going to bed hungry. We really try to fill those gaps where kids may not have food and make sure that all children have access to healthy, nutritious food so that they can succeed. My name is John Sanders. I'm with the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma, and I'm a development manager here. Most people who rely on food assistance have at least one working adult in the home. They simply may be working low-wage jobs that don't enable them to provide a basic standard of living. Many families have to make difficult choices like choosing between food and other critical needs such as utilities and medical treatment. Many food insecure people choose strategies such as watering down food or skipping meals to stretch their food supply. Jeff Marlowe here in the culinary department. I am the chief culinary officer here at the uh, Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma. We come in here and we use donated product. We make uh, very nutritious, healthy meals that we're able to put back out into our community in need. We serve a lot of different agencies with this donated product, from uh, Youth Services of Tulsa to Women in Recovery, Coffee Bunker, some veteran sites, and, uh, and many, many more. Here at the Food Bank, I'm responsible for our after-school programs, uh, whether it's kids, daycares. Uh, we feed seniors through this program as well. A lot of that food is fresh meals. We prepare some shelf-stable meals, but majority of the meals that we distribute out of our kitchen are fresh hot meals. Last summer, we distributed close to 100,000 meals through our summer feeding program. Two of our staff members with volunteers go out on the food trucks and distribute two to 300 meals off of each truck. And that's only a portion of the meals that we make. One of the things that I love being the chef here at the, the food bank is the people that we serve. I really feel when I leave here that my heart is just full of love and, and what I've done for my community that day. I love what we're doing here at the food bank and I love my team that, that we're surrounded by. Volunteers can definitely learn from us and if you have a knack for cooking, home chef, previous chef, any kind of food knowledge or just curious, we would definitely love your help here in our culinary center. My name is Kane Powell. I'm the Volunteer Operations Manager. So here in the Volunteer Center, we sort and inspect every bit of food that comes in and is donated. Um, we take that food and we have a sorting process where we sort it into five different categories. We will then take that food after it has been sorted, dates have been checked to make sure that the quality of food is to our standards. We will then take it and we will pack it for a variety of different things. Just last year alone, we had about 12,000 volunteers donate over 68,000 hours to the food bank, which resulted in about $1.6 million in savings to us. 
Some of our volunteers are individuals that come out and want to volunteer on their own. Some bring friends, uh, some come as families, but we also have groups. We have churches, schools, businesses, clubs, different organizations. A lot of times businesses and organizations like to use this as a team building project, and we really see the volunteers have a lot of fun with that. So volunteers are a very big part of what we do. They are the lifeblood of the food bank. We would not be able to do what we do without volunteers. Last year alone, volunteers in this room packed right around 2.3 million pounds worth of food. So with your guys' help, we are able to give out that food to over 350 of our partner programs. So you guys make a difference every single day here in Northeast Oklahoma. Hi guys, my name is Terrace and I'm the Food Bank's Fresh Produce Initiatives Coordinator. Um, part of my job is working out here in the gardens and the growtainers and managing our aquaponic system. So our hydroponic containers contain about 700 square feet of growing space and in them I can grow highly perishable and delicate fresh greens to distribute to our programs and to our partner agencies. With the ability to grow fresh produce on site, we lower our environmental footprint by reducing shipping costs and emissions and retaining resources so we can get food to where it really needs to be. At our free family farmers markets, we're able to provide fresh, nutritious produce for families that normally might not be able to purchase things like this at the store. It's a great initiative that the food bank is able to offer our community. Seniors are another incredibly vulnerable segment of our population. And with many now reaching maturity, it is an ever-growing population. One in 10 seniors in Oklahoma is food insecure. Because of that, the food bank tries to meet nutritional needs of seniors through our senior servings programs. And finally, our veterans. Our veterans make up a very large segment of the population here in Oklahoma. Nearly 18% of the households that we serve have a veteran living in them. The Food Bank has established a series of initiatives and partnerships to help meet the nutritional needs of veterans. For example, we often provide prepared meals to veterans at the coffee bunker, as well as mobile pantries to veterans living in rural areas. The hunger tax indicates that it is far more expensive to counter the physical and social effects of poor nutrition for children than to simply feed them. The same is true for adults. As a society, we all pay for the cost of a poor workforce and increased healthcare costs. No one is productive or healthy when they don't get the food they need. With so many ways to get involved, we would love for you to join us in the fight against hunger. Even small actions like educating others on social media or organizing your own fund or food drive through your caring group goes a long way. Together, we can provide food security with dignity to our neighbors.